Welcome to another video in which I will be providing some more free analysis and education for all of you. If you're new to the channel, I'm a top author on the trade view platform as well as running an educational company in which I teach all of my students how to trade my strategies and being a full-time swing trader. Without further ado, let's get straight in the video and provide some free value for all of you. Okay, so there are a couple of pairs I want to speak about today. So the first one is AUD and ZD. So let's start from the monthly time frame. So what we clearly have from a monthly perspective is that the market is at a very strong support level. You can see that the market rejected it here, again rejected it, rejected it, rejected it, and again rejected, and now we are at the same exact level and the market has already started to react to the strong level of support that we have from a monthly perspective. Now, what happens if we look at the market from a structure perspective? We can clearly see from a structure and pattern perspective is that we have up, let's be more precise, we have up, down, up, down. The market created a double bottom basically after creating a higher high. Now, if you see a market that creates a double bottom after creating a higher high, you expect the market to make a head and shoulders formation, which means that from this area, the market is supposed to make a push to the upside to complete the right shoulder of the formation. Now, another thing that we can clearly do is that by taking our Fibonacci from the low to the high of the previous leg, we can see that the market is at the 78.6, which is lining up with the overall structure, meaning that from this area, the market is supposed to start the new push to the upside before another leg to the downside. Going down on the weekly time frame, we have a clear confirmation that from this area, the market is supposed to start the retracement. In fact, we can clearly see that the market has created this M formation and from here, we expect the push to the upside. Now, if we take our Fibonacci from the high to the low of the impulse, because that is what you're supposed to do, if you want information on our retracement, you need to take your Fibonacci on the impulse. And if you do so, what we clearly get is that the 382 Fibonacci is at this level. So basically by taking your horizontal array at this level, you have overall already the first target for the retracement to the upside. Plus another thing that you can see is that the market made all of this push to the downside, all of this impulsive phase without showing any kind of retracement. And that is something that basically it triggers a retracement because the market, as you know, loves to create waves. So basically after impulses, you will have correction both to the upside and to the downside. At this point, it's time to get a retracement. Plus, you can clearly see it. The market has hit previous support with head, and this, that support is the support that triggered the last uh, basically strong uptrend. So from this area, we're supposed to get a retracement. Now, let's go on the daily time frame and see what kind of price action we're getting on the daily. So on the daily time frame, we can clearly see that the market has created a double bottom area. The market had hit this level, went back up, then made a spike to the downside. And that spike is something that I want to speak about. Why do I want to speak about the spike? I want to speak about the spike because if you go and see basically what we have from a COT perspective, so basically what we have from a hedge fund perspective, what are hedge funds doing with the AUD? So if you look at what they've been doing with AUD, now obviously here there is a zero missing, but I mean, it's, it's quite obvious. I mean, it is 30, 30K and 3.550. So basically what they've been doing, yes, they closed 13K longs and they closed 3K shorts, okay? But if you look at the net positions, it's true, they have decreased. But if you look at the date, the, the report, the last report that we have is of the 17th. Okay, now let's go back to the chart. Okay, and let's see where the 17th air is basically, because you can see that yes, it's true, they did add shorts, but look at where the 17th is on the chart. Now let's go on the four hour chart. This is the spike that we had on the daily. Okay, you see it here even clearly on the four hour time frame. And if you if you look at basically what you have, the 17th is here. Okay, this is when the report came out. So the report came out here and they showed that they had shorts, okay, that they had other shorts. And the next thing that happens, the market goes straight down and creates a very nice a rejection. Why? What basically happened? What happened 
is that they pushed the market down, everybody started shorting, and what they did, they used all this, all this, um, the liquidity that the guys shorting provided to close out their shorts and open longs. So basically, they closed out, the, they, they started buying AUD from this lows by using the liquidity created by this push to the downside. And they also showed us that basically they had shorts. So basically, now what you can what you can see from the price action, the market started the push to the upside, meaning that basically they closed out many of their shorts. So that is something that they, they do over and over again. They try to hide what they actually have. So as soon as after they have to sign basically the reports, you will clearly see these things happen. They happen over and over again. Now going back from a technical perspective, this is the overall upside target that you have for AUD NZD at the 382 Fibonacci retracement. And this is the level that we expect the market to go and hit. So basically what we will be doing with the students, we will be monitoring price action inside of this area. If on the forever time frame the market will show us one of our valid entries, then we will be taking this long to the overall upside target. And we will have a very good risk to reward, at least a one to three risk to reward. But the market must provide us one of our valid entries inside of this region. Only if we will have one of our valid entries, then we will actually take the trade. It's very important to always be reactive in the market and not predicting it and have a solid rule-based strategy to apply over and over again in order to know exactly what you're looking at in the market. USD CHF is the other pair I really want to speak about. So from a monthly perspective, what we clearly see here on USD CHF is that we have a left shoulder, we have a head, and we have a right shoulder. And the market created a very nice impulse, followed by a correction, and you expect the next impulse to the downside. So a clear impulse correction and impulse pattern to the downside that we can see here on a monthly on the monthly time frame. Now, what you can also see here on USDCHF is that the market has created an equal low and rejected it twice. And now the market is approaching again this area and overall we want to see it break to the downside. If we take our Fibonacci from the high to the low of the impulse, because that is what you're supposed to do if you want information on the retracement, what you clearly see is that the market went to retest the golden ratio 0.618 before starting a new impulse to the downside and that is basically a very interesting thing that the market did because overall most of the times the market will go to hit the 61.8 and then start the next impulse to the downside so that actually is in confluence with our overall view on this pair now if we go down on the weekly what kind of price action we're getting you can see that on the weekly we don't really have much information on this pair we clearly see that the market created some very si nice sideways a price action and then started a new, new impulse to the downside and overall we're supposed to get the continuation following what we have from a monthly perspective going down the daily time frame what do we have the market started a quite sharp rejection to the upside but you can clearly see that we are retesting the area of previous support now to resistance that we can clearly see here on the daily time frame and from here we expect continuation to the downside. Now, if we go and see what we have from a COT perspective on a USD and on CHF, we see that overall the data, so the way in which a hedge funds are positioned for the USD and the CHF are absolutely in our favor. In fact, what we can clearly see is that for the CHF, we went from a 22K net positions to 11K net positions, meaning that basically hedge funds have been heavily longing CHF because we went from a minus 22 to minus 11, meaning it basically added a lot of longs. In fact, they added 3.5K longs. You can uh, hear it simply at zero missing at the end. And they basically added 3.5K longs and they closed 6K shorts. And if you go to see what happened on the other side on the USD, you can clearly see that we went from a minus 27, sorry, to from minus from 27 K net positions to 11 K net positions. So clearly they have been heavily selling the Euro and heavily longing the CHF. So overall, we can definitely expect USD CHF to continue with this overall trend. Also considering that the, in the last report, they reported to have 
closed 7k longs and added 2k shorts. Now, if we go back to a USD CHF, what we, what we will definitely be doing at this point is be monitoring price action with the students inside of this region. And there, there is a lot of that, is a lot that basically needs to happen before we can even consider a short because you can clearly see that from a four hour perspective and also daily perspective, this push to the upside was quite aggressive and also broke the previous high to the upside. So there, there is a lot that needs to happen, but overall, what we will be doing, we will be monitoring price action inside of this region. And if and only if the market will provide us one of our valid entries, then we will definitely be looking for continuation to the downside to create a lower low from a monthly perspective. So it will be a trade with a very good risk to reward and probabilities. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash the like button. It really does support the creation of more free analysis and education for all of you, as well as letting me know in the comments below what you think I can improve in the sense that which kind of other videos you want to see or what other pairs you want me to analyze for free here for all of you. If you still haven't, make sure you go check out the mentorship program. It's a very complete program. You get all the rules of my strategies and then Every day you get a new daily market breakdown directly from me showing you which pairs are near to satisfying the rules for entry as well as getting the answer to all of your questions within 24 hours from when you ask them directly on your student dashboard. Without further ado, I will invite you to go check it out or go check out the next video.